what that is. Let's see here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Thank you for all your awesome comments. I've been going through and trying to get them out, you know, get answer and like and love and all that good stuff. Whew, there's lots of them. You guys, I'm not joking when I say that's a that's like a two-job, full-time job just to answer comments. It's so nuts. I never realized that when I started doing this. And I'm going to tell you right now that in the beginning, I was so overwhelmed by just the amount of people that were like watching him. For one thing, I was really shocked. I mean, I swear to God, this is something I never expected. I have... <clears throat> it's you know I didn't come on here to get subs. I didn't come on here to do you know even even do get monetize the channel to be at all. And I kind of actually had to. I mean I you know this is this is really my job. It really is. I mean I do this. I eat, sleep and poop this stuff. And um, well not really, but I mean well pretty much yeah pretty much do. Um, I go to bed thinking about it and I wake up thinking about it and. Um, anyway, so, with that said, I didn't get to uh, any of the comments on uh, many, many videos. I mean, I, and I, I apologize if you're one of those commenters on there. I, I apologize. I just, I, I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be like this. <laughs> I'm almost, you guys, I'm almost at six, six I'm, I'm like 5,600. I am blown away. I never even, I, I swear to God, I never even look at that. And today I was, I went to view the channel and it, for some reason it just jumped out at me. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like kind of freaked out a little bit. <laughs> Thank you guys for supporting me. I love it. Um, and please hit that like button, you guys. It makes a huge difference. I do know there's some, I don't know who you are who are doing it, but I do know when I put videos up, I know that before I even, you guys even watch them, you guys have to be hitting that like button because I can see it and I love it. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. It does help me. It does help me a lot. Also, you guys, I do have, um, I do have my cash app card or app or whatever it's called. I'm, I'm so new to this. I'm so, so new to this. Anyway, it is in my profile. So if you click on about, you know, at the top, they changed it around. It used to be like a little area in, um, like after the community post, if you go scroll through the little line thing on the top where it's got videos, shorts, and all that kind of stuff. Well, all the way at the end, there used to be an about section. Well, now it's up top. So there's like an arrow you click or something, and it drops down to a little box when you when you click on my name under the video. Yeah, so trying to maneuver through those things and learn as fast as YouTube changes them is... Is interesting in itself <clears throat> but um so anyway i i don't expect anything from any of you i don't it's not you know it's not something you that's necessary that's like expected it's that's actually even record you know it's something that just is on it's your your it's your um thing all on your own you do and if you want to do it that's great Meaning donate, it's great. I would love it. It would be welcoming, that's for sure. But it's not expected. It's not required. And so, I mean, I just... J getting the support from you guys is so important to me. And it's, it's, it's what keeps me going. It really does. It really does. So thank you all for that. So anyway, as I'm reading through... Uh, the comments on Adam's, I think, it, the one about Adam, I think it was. Um, there, uh, um, one person brought up uh, several different really good um, points. And I am going to overlay that once I get into this into CapCut. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, overlay a better reading version of of this particular oh my god this quest one that i did i didn't realize how poorly that showed up in here because i i don't usually watch my videos after i put them up here but i wanted to do something on this because she was actually bringing this stuff up and so i wanted to go back and go back and just kind of walk through this with you guys this is the 
um, the rules in determining the quest location and then also what um, the timings, the time, like they literally mark out times for each thing that they need to do and to accomplish. And this is really kind of scary all on its own. Not really kind of scary, it's downright scary. So I'm just going to play through this. I'm going to be reading, I'm, t I'm taking this to my other video and then I will overlay um, the better a better reading format for you guys to read along with me as I'm doing this. Oh my gosh, I so I didn't realize how bad it turned out. And here's the thing: when I make my videos on CapCut, I tend to want to put in so much fun stuff in there for you guys to visually see as you're maybe listening to them, maybe you're watching them, whatever you're doing, or you can go back and see them because I mean I ha I I have fun doing that part, a really fun. <clears throat> well, this one I had a little too much fun. I put in a way too much more than I was, should have done on CapCut, and I think I over overloaded the, the system because half the stuff I put in there didn't even show up, and then the stuff that did show up, you can't see it. So <laughs> I guess I learned my lesson on this one. So I apologize. I did not know it looked like this. Um, and you won't even know what I'm talking about because I'm going to overlay good stuff, reading, able to read stuff on here. So if you want to know what, you're going to have to go back and look at the other video, which I will put in the link. Um, yeah, try to read the other one. I'm not going to read it myself like where I am right now. I'm going to let my other, my other bubbly read it, <laughs> which is the one that's reading it on this video. So I'm going to shut up right now, and I am going to let my, <clears throat> let's see, my doppelganger read it. How about that? Oh my gosh. Ooh, I wonder if I do have a doppelganger. I know I do, actually. I know I do. It's really weird. Actually, I thought I did for years. Get this, you guys. This is part of the something that I've never told you guys. I told you I had a stalker, right? Okay, so... Um, that person had me on a live stream via my phone 24-7. Yeah, unbeknownst to me, I was clueless. So, with that said, every time I went to town, I mean, for, God, it must have been a good five years that this happened to me. I mean, it was so consistent that it was starting to freak me out. Everyone I ran into, mostly men, would, in fact, most, yeah, mostly it was pretty much all men. They would come up to me and they would say, oh my God, you look so familiar. Why do I know you from somewhere? And I'd be like, I don't know. Like, and they'd be like, man, I swear I know you from somewhere. And I'd be like, I don't know. And I'm like, some people were legit about it and they would pull out like their wallet or something and they'd show me a picture of someone that they knew, you know, that looked like me, which was legit. But most of the time it wasn't like that. And I'm, I'm talking, this is on a daily basis, sometimes a few times a day depending on where I was, at a grocery store or at a, you know, a music, a concert, whatever it was, this would happen consistently. Then I found out about the live stream and I had been being live streamed 24-7 via my phone by this person that was stalking me. And they were posting it online. I do not know where it's at. I have no idea. I do not, not want to know where it's at because it's, I, God almighty, I can't imagine what people must have been watching. And that's how they knew me. Now you want to talk about some serious stalking? That's some serious stalking. Yeah. And I don't think I'm ever safe. In fact, my phone all the time, now, ever since then, is covered in tape. Like I've got, I've got cam covers over, over the lenses. I only take it off when I'm filming, when I'm doing, um, I, I used to, you guys, I used to, God, this makes me sad thinking about this part now. I was really doing good. Um, I was an avid photographer. I mean, I photographed everything. I mean, all, I mean, nature, animals, part, we, everything we went to, any function, I was the one that did it. And then um, when this person did this to me, oh, oof, hell. It shut me down. I mean, it shut me down for... Well, 
Well, put it this way. I've never been the same. Never. I'm not as outgoing as I used to be. I'm not even close. I mean, I used to go out and do everything. And being that this person is uh, very close to the family that did this and would usually come to family functions, I stopped going there. So I'm going to family functions, anywhere that this person would be. Because this person is so good in a, the creepiest kind of way at what they do, that trying to convince someone that this is what someone, that what this person was actually doing to me is almost impossible on the extent that they did it to me. I mean, they know they were doing something to me, but they don't know the extent of it. But I do, because I saw it every day. I heard it every day from, from men that would come up to me. And these were live streamed 24 seven videos through my phone. So if you think your phone is not catching stuff, you're wrong because I lived through it. And here's how I found out. So I uh, was what well, I was on watching my brother's property at the time and it was just he was at a festival and it was it he was gone for probably four months and um, I was walking back to the RV where I was staying in and it was pitch black on his property at night. I mean, it's, it was a really great piece of, piece of property in the middle. It was it, like not too far out of town, but it seemed like it was way far out because it was just no no light pollution or anything. It was just beautiful. And um, um, I was walking back and I constantly was switching out batteries and my lights and my headlamps and everything because I was because I I love being outside. I mean, I was always outside doing something. And, and all of a sudden, my flash came on my phone. And it was like blaring right at me. Like it was looking at me. And I was like, what the hell's going on? I could not figure out. It, I couldn't turn it off. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Didn't have any clue. Finally, I ended up turning my phone off. And, um, and then... I was like, I, you know, I didn't really even understand exactly what it did, what, why it was doing that, right? Until a couple nights later when it did the same thing. And then my phone, oh, this is so creepy, you guys. This is, a, this is the most creepiest thing about this thing, is that my phone, I could lay it on a table and it would like bump. It would be just busy. Like my phone would be busy, like whatever he was doing in my phone was causing my mobile data to just fly through the roof where my there was no no wi-fi nothing like that out there because it was too far out they hadn't even put it out there yet and um i was ripping through like overnight 12 gigabytes of of data and when i'd wake up i would be like over i mean i'd have to call over, i'd have to call my phone company and say i don't know what's going on someone's in my phone something's going on because i'm sleeping and this is happening so that was one part of it too which is which literally put me that it it screwed me over so bad because i was so ignorant to um even how phones worked and then, you know what's interesting too is this person okay for years i didn't i i held back i didn't want to get a mobile phone didn't want to do it didn't want to do it Finally, I had to give in because my business was a mobile business and it was a mobile um, hair business. So I had to get a phone, especially when there was, you know, there's no phone booths or anything out there to meet calls. I had to stop at my client's house because I did hair and, um, and like, you know, call because I mean, you know, it just, if you're, especially mobile wise, if you're going from place to place, especially when you're doing hair, you never know how long it's going to take. So typically I was, I would run late or sometimes I'd even be really early, but most of the time it was late. So I'd have to call, you know, and all that good stuff. So I had to get a phone, but I kept my flip phone for way longer than anybody else did. Cause I really had a problem. I didn't want to do it. Finally, I had to give in, but the one that pushed me to get the smartphone, 
was this person and it's and i i feel that as soon as this person as soon as i got that phone this person was my in my phone that fast i just i didn't know anybody was in my phone for year for years and my phone kept doing weird stuff like all of a sudden um my um like it would just go bad like out of the blue like n like for no reason like my phone would just go bad and I was in and out of Verizon all the freaking time. And they would just, they'd send me a new phone. I would send the old one back. And you know what I kept, you know what I didn't realize is that when I had SD cards in there, that that would go with it. And I never realized that I was supposed to take those things out. Oh God, I was so ignorant to this. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> that happened a few times. And you don't get those back. God only knows where those went. Anyway, um, then... This person also owns a telecommunications company. So this person is also in big with the companies. <sighs> this story is so long. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to cut it off really quick. But quicker than I... I mean, I could go on for a month talking about this story. But um, when I realized just the pull that this person had, I was pretty much going to have to fend for myself. And that was one of the times that I was in Verizon... For the umpteenth time, I was on the phone with them at least two to three times a day, every single day, because I was making sure that they were getting what was going down in my phone. And what was happening is that when I would call, sometimes I'd get a person who knew exactly what I was talking about, but they couldn't really say it to me. And you could tell it. It was so creepy, you guys. Like, but these, co these phone companies are so awful. Um, so this person that would would get what i was saying they would try to give me information without you know making it look like that's what they were doing and i so appreciated these people they made me feel like i wasn't going crazy and um there was only a handful of them and those handful of people what would happen is when they were telling me something like all of a sudden the line would switch over and then there something else someone would answer and it would be like an authority type person like it sounded like a cop is what it sounded like to me and so that happened, and then I got even more freaked out. And, I mean, so many things happened. Like, the things that I found out that phones can do like this, and what they're watching you, just, or like, crazy watching you, was through that whole, in, that whole time. And um, so just be careful with your phones. Um, like I said, I have a cover over my front lens, and I have a cover over my back lens. And I used to get those ones that slide, you know, that you can buy. And, and they were just, they wouldn't last very long. So, to, so my phone looks really pretty. Usually I have like some blue painter's tape over the back side of it. Um, on that little, you know, where the lens is and stuff. And I have like the one that's got the six lenses, things on there. And then I always have one on the front. And sometimes, I mean, it, it sticks the best. It stays the longest, right? And it doesn't look that bad if I make it small and cover it up. But sometimes I'll realize, oh my God, all of a sudden I'll realize it's gone. Or I didn't, like if I was taking a picture or something, I didn't replace the tape. And my anxiety level just goes up so high. Like my heart just starts pounding. I mean, it, it, I, I get triggered all over again. So, I don't know if people even notice it when I'm out and about anymore. I mean, I, I, I used to be really aware of it being there. Now I don't even notice it there. I'm just, you know, wherever. I don't even notice it's on there because it's been on there for so long. Um, which I'm, it's been coming, uh, let me see how many years it's been going on for. Um. So I think I probably was on the live for probably about five years and then maybe maybe a little bit less, but I'm pretty much thinking it was probably about that long. And then um, it's been about 10 or 15 years since then, but I have had also many, many issues since then. And um, it's kind of on a down low right now, but when it's on a down low, it's when I really get concerned. Because, you know, oops, my clock, man. Right, hush, hush, hush. What the heck? Well, it needs to catch up with me because I'm already awake. <laughs> but, um, oh, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, oh, when it's quiet, that's when I get kind of a little freaked out because... What's that? The, the calm before the storm. That's how I always look at it. That's 
<clears throat> I didn't look at it like, I mean, I didn't even think about anything like that at first, and then until th certain things happened, and when it was when it was quiet, and then all of a sudden, boom, you get hit. So, that's one thing I'm very aware of. That is one of the reasons that I do not show my face on here. That is probably the only reason, actually. Uh, it's because I have to protect myself, and... And this person lives not too far from me and always has. So, I just have to keep be very aware. I'm, I still, you know, when I'm driving, any, when I'm going anywhere, I still am the one that... Um, that resonates with Kaylee. Because I know that feeling. And if it was something that was just beginning to happen to her, then I could see how she, uh, wouldn't take it as seriously as she should have. Because it's hard, it's hard, it takes a while to sink in. And... You just don't realize how uh, um, toxic and scary and dangerous those things can be. Sometimes, you know, they might be on the you know down low, not that big of a deal. But you know, you put stalker in any sentence, in any format, in any part of your life it's not a good thing stalker is not a good word or description or anything about it so I'm t also want to let you all know to be very careful because this is if this happened to a young vital beautiful For college students, it can happen to anybody, anyone, at any time. And I don't want to scare you. I just want you to be aware of your surroundings. Especially in this day and age, because the internet is a stalker's playground. And... I also know this because I know that mine doesn't just stick to me. You see, I've this is how I started doing research is on is on this person. And I have boxes and boxes and boxes of banana boxes full of notebooks and things um of the research I've done on this person. And I think that's why this person actually has started to stay away from me a little bit. I mean, I'm sure they still monitor me, but they haven't, like, like they used to send people, like, have guys come on to me and wanted to and ask me on a date and things like that. And, and you know, peer, you know, every once in a while, like, you know, depending on where it was, I would, you know, if I was interested, I would say yes. Until this person all of a sudden would be like, well, how about you go here with me or, or whatever. And I'm like, well, why would I do that's like, you know, I mean, I'm talking like out on a boat in the middle of the ocean, like, you know, like the next day or something. And that was literally one of them was like that. And I said, no, I mean, I don't even I don't really even know you. And at this point, this where we had met was at a, a swim, a swimming hole at the river that we used to always go to. And so there were several of us, you know, um, and so it was I wasn't alone with this person. And when I told this person no, they, well, put it this way, I had to call and get a restraining order, a protection order against this person because this person was sent by my stalker. And he was trying to get me to go with this other person to a place where I wouldn't, I would be by myself in the middle of a body of water on a boat. And who knows who was hitting in that, hidden in that hole down there. I mean, I could have been, it could have been, 
I to think back on that and all the times that I did not know this is prior to me knowing that this was happening to me the situations that I was in that could have been so 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 much worse so please people men and women if it's not doesn't just happen to women be aware of your surroundings be aware of just you know what be aware of what your what your phone is your phone is an extension of you it hears you it sees you it listens to you for what you like what you don't like like get this when i played this when i started playing this video today the commercial that popped up on there was a yoga commercial which was cool i liked it but guess what the music sounded just just like my opening music that i have put on there now in fact i thought it was like playing two videos that's how close it was to that to my music so there you have it that's a weird one that's a weird one but it's par for the course so if you guys have kids you you out there that have kids please 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 don't monitor monitor their phones keep keep be so aware of who they're talking to and how they're doing it the things that they're sharing and you guys also on facebook stop telling people you're on freaking vacation i mean the ones i mean some people are like oh i'm going on vacation like tomorrow and we're gonna be gone for so and so well hello just welcoming people i mean you know i have a family member that does that too and i can't believe she even does that i'm just like you gotta be kidding me i mean thank god she knows every last living one of her neighbors and has for years and that's just the way she is she's like the social total social butterfly and i think good well so so nice for her you know i mean yeah i really believe that that's great i would love to be that again too but I'm the one that took the brunt of this person. And this person not only knows me, but it knows everybody in my family. But they chose me, apparently. I'm not the only one they've hurt in the family, though. But this person seems to be untouchable. Very untouchable. Because they've got money. See, you guys, money talks. I'll be the first to tell you that I know money talks, not because I have it, but because my stalker has it. I've tried and tried and tried to bring certain things to the authorities' attention, and they just don't they ignore me. They act like they're they act like they're listening, but they don't. They only listen enough to know to to until the name comes up that I'm going to be dropping to them and then they just and then oh yeah okay we've 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 got enough from you now we've got enough information yeah so <coughs> I know how this system works and I know and I know no no judges law enforcement People who are people who are in, get this, who are there to protect children against people that harm them in many ways. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking the whole line of these people, all these officials, all these higher ups that are supposed to be protecting you and your children and your and everybody. That's what their job is. And to be fair and just and to put the criminals away and not just slapping their wrists and letting them go. I know this for a fact because I have been there. I've seen it. It has happened to me over and over again. I have seen it with my own eyes. It has damaged me in so many ways. Um, and... 
I didn't think this video was going to go down this road, so I may have to even make another video of the quest, which I probably